Okay. So, okay. We have created a new React project. Uh, inside the React project, let's go and verify what is there. Okay. So here by default, JIT is there. So here the project is there, right? I want to open this project in the Visual Studio Code. Okay. So what I'm going to do, simple one. So what is my project name here? Payroll data. I will copy this URL. Okay. And go and open your Visual Studio Code. Once you are open the Visual Studio Code, simple file. Okay. Open folder and just select the, see always select till your pro payroll project, not outside. Okay. Till the payroll. So select here and open it. So if you are going to select it uh, automatically, it will place all the files here in the left side. Okay. You can either you can go and verify here or you can verify in the here also. Both are same. Okay. We are going to use this for React development. We are going to use the Visual Studio code. That is the reason we are opening it. Okay. So as part of here, what we will check, we will verify what is this file why they have created this file, what is the important of this file, whether we should touch this file or not, where we are going to write our code. So if you have this knowledge, whenever you are going to develop it, you will have a very good knowledge. Okay, that's right. So that is the reason we are going to explore here. Okay. So whenever you have created this one, so what is the first directory we are having it? Uh, node underscore modules, okay? This is the auto-generated folder. Auto generated means uh, automatically it will create it. We no need to worry about it at all. Even now also you can delete it. Okay. After deleting, we can run a command called uh, npm install. Automatically that folder will be created. Okay. So inside this, what is the folder will be there? If you open here, here, whatever the libraries are available, whatever the libraries are required for our project, all those libraries will be downloaded from the npm and it will copy into this node models, okay? If you open here, these are the libraries required for our project, okay? So there is a Babel, uh, it will be like, you can see all the libraries, whatever the libraries are required, all the libraries are downloaded and it will be placed in which directory? Inside the node underscore model. It will be done automatically, we no need to do any work, okay? So since this is auto-generated, we no need to do anything inside that one, okay? Fine. Okay. Then what is the required? If you want to run your project, definitely this folder should be there. Otherwise, your project will not uh, start. Okay. That is fine. So next, uh, public is there. Okay. If you go to the public, uh, very, very important. And if you go to the public, so suppose whatever the files, uh, okay, it which is not secure, I want to, uh, whenever we are opening our website, I want to show the some uh, files. That files uh, you can place inside the public okay generally you can see favicon icon what is a favicon icon icon that everybody know website icon and the next thing is index.html i'll explain it okay so and there is a, some logos suppose i want to show one logo in my web page that is nothing but a logos and apart from that the what are the other two files uh, manifest.json and robots.txt two files are there okay so manifest.json it is nothing but a json JavaScript object notation, correct, right, JSON object. So here always JSON will be like a key and a value pairs. So this is a key, this is a value, this is a key, this is a value, something like this, okay? So here it is like a for our project. So what is my project name? What is the icon I should use for my project? So that information I will place inside the manifest.json. Okay, so only if you want to change any icon information and something like this, you can go and change it here, the manifest.json. So the next file is a robots.txt. Okay, so this robots.txt is nothing but a, let us go over one by one. So this robots.txt is nothing but a, suppose if I am opening my website, if there might be some pages where I don't want to show by the browser search engines, suppose net banking is there, inside account balance page is there. I don't want to search that page by any browser, either Google or Yahoo or Bingo. Even they are searching also that page should not come. Okay. Such pages, what we can do, we can define inside the robots.txt file. Okay. So inside the robots.txt file, we can define what are the pages are allowed. What are the pages are not allowed. That information we can provide it. Okay. So that information where we'll provide it inside the robots.txt. Usually this work we'll do by SEO 
persons search engine optimization persons okay so but we can have a, some knowledge on this one so whenever we want to allow some pages by search engine we can define it here whenever we don't want to allow some pages by search engine that also we can define in the robots.txt file okay but we will not touch much thing but there might be some interview they will ask what is this of robots.txt and manifest.json okay let's go for it so what is the next file we are having it uh, index.html file let's go let's open here we will we are going to open see uh, this is a user agent disallow disallow means don't allow here i did not write any list if i am going to write that list it will maintain that list okay so here by default there is no list is there next file is the index.html okay. let us uh, read it what is the doc type what it is the meaning doc type it is a latest document html5 document okay and this is html tag and head, how many parts are there head and body parts okay inside the head we'll write a meta tag okay and this is a uh, icon okay our favicon icon okay and this is a viewport what is the use of this viewport if you want to write any responsive web pages then we have to write this line or not if you want any responsiveness then definitely we have to write a meta tag viewport is equal to width f1 device width okay and theme color this is okay whatever the color i am writing it that is okay, okay? and suppose i want to explain about my website okay my website is excellent website payroll management number one system something like this whenever they are searching it we want to display some data so that information will write inside the description so whatever the description you are writing it that will come in the google search okay yes and see here we are writing a man we are linking that the json manifest json in the header part okay and the title we are writing a something like this is a more pretty thing okay the important point here what is the tag here we are seeing it a uh, no script okay what is the tag uh, no script there was an one interview they are asking what is the use of no script okay so suppose your browser is not supporting the javascript suppose there is a browser they are not allowing the javascript because javascript is very powerful right they know that that is the reason they are not allowing the javascript if javascript is not allowing you cannot run anything okay so in that cases we are going to get this error okay you need to enable javascript to run our application so that is the meaning of no script this meaning is whenever your browser is not supporting javascript that message will be displayed if your browser is supporting javascript that message will never come okay that is the meaning of no script okay that is one of the interview question i have seen this question that is the reason i am covering here okay and the next what is the tag i am writing it uh, div okay excellent and next uh, id is equal to root but there is nothing is there it is empty component right empty one that's fine and after that what is the there body only then if you open our react website so by default it is showing one spinner and this come is right but in the code no nothing is there only one empty div is there but how the data is coming okay we will see it how the data is coming here okay for now what is the important tag here it is there one div and what is the id for this one root that is very very important let us see where we are using this one okay so meanwhile let us go for the remaining files also so now we have done the public folder and what is the next folder we are having it a uh, src before going src let's complete the remaining folder okay so what is the next file dot jit ignore okay so this jit means suppose we are storing our project in my laptop okay after two days uh, there is some problem happened to my laptop what will happen to whatever written i have my code what will happen if my laptop is gone my code also will go or not uh, so code will go okay there is no security something like this right so that is the reason okay that is one type suppose in my project two persons are working okay and i want to share my code with my colleague so how can i share it i cannot put pen drive always and give it share the code okay that is not a good practice for sharing and collaboration so there is a software called git okay so you can see the github also so by end of the course you can go to github and you are going to sign up and you can commit all our code to there okay so this github is nothing but think like a there is a another cloud machine cloud means uh, in internet there is one machine is there whatever the code you are writing you can place your code securely over there suppose your laptop is gone no problem you go to internet and go to your account and download that code again so now there is advantages there right so you no need to worry about your code and second you want to share it with your friend no problem you commit all your changes to that github 
so that is nothing but it will go to github here and your friend also will come and download the code from the github so simply you can easily share it okay that is nothing but a github we are going to explain about github in the next video something like it, okay so let us focus on the so now in the github whenever you are committing the changes okay ignore ignore means what uh, don't commit these files like uh, what are the files i should not commit that is nothing but a git ignore okay so here i am saying node models don't commit because node models what folder auto generated you no need to download this file automatically in all the machine it is going to create then why you want to commit those changes uh, not required so such files we will declare it here ma. okay node models something whatever the required here we can write it okay suppose you don't want to commit any changes to the cloud then those files you can add it in the node model like in the n git ignore file okay so next important file is a package hyphen log dot json okay this package hyphen log dot json also is like a auto generated only you no need to do anything whenever our project is started automatically this file also created okay so and here the like what is the package that lock is there so in the in your project so we are going to use some libraries okay each library will have some version it is going to maintain the what version what library is running that information will maintain by the package if and log json okay so next to go for the package dot json so this is the heart of your application okay very very important so whatever the files we have seen so far the most important file is package dot json okay so this is the one you are going to define the this is json javascript objects okay so here name and payroll what are the name you are giving it okay and version what is your project version for now we are going to create with 0 1.0 next release 1.2 1.3 1.4 something like this we can increase this version okay so on the next important piece here is dependencies okay dependencies so what are the libraries are dependencies here testing hyphen library slash just dom okay and testing hyphen library react testing hyphen library user agent okay and here another library react okay and react dom react scripts and web battles something like this okay so here whatever we are writing inside the this dependencies okay so this is nothing but a if you want to run your react project whatever the libraries are required those libraries we will add it inside the dependencies clear whatever the libraries are required for our project to running the application those those libraries we will mention in the here okay so here since we want to run a react so this is a react library name okay so and what is the version we are using it 18.2 and the next another thing is a react type and dom and what is the library version we are using it 18.2 each react will have a some like each library will having some version okay so this information we will provide inside the dependencies okay and there is a second important point called dev dependencies okay okay suppose here there is no dev dependencies let me tell what is the dev dependence sometimes there will be another tag with the dev iphone dependencies that meaning is if you want to develop the project whatever the libraries are there those libraries are called dev dependencies developing whatever the libraries that is nothing but a dev dependence to run the project whatever the libraries are required that libraries are called dependencies okay so okay next thing scripts ma okay very very important and see here what is the command to start our project uh, npm start correct right npm start so that start is nothing but here so whenever you are typing npm start internally it will call this function react hyphen scripts hyphen start okay internally it will instead of writing this long line you can write a short npm start so that start internally will call the this function okay suppose i want to build it what is the command npm space build so internally it will call the react scripts hyphen build we don't need to do that so this is like a your command and internally what is the command it's going to run it suppose tomorrow you want to write your own command you can go and write it like this okay this is your key and this is your command something like this we can write our own commands also okay if you want to write your own commands then where you have to write it you have to go for inside the scripts file okay that is fine and the next thing is a yes lint config okay yes lint means uh, ecmascript you know what is ecma ecmascript uh, 
Java script only write ECMA script is nothing but a Java script. So this lint configuration is like a suppose it will have some rules. Okay, what are the rules? Suppose he is using a he's created one variable, but he never printed something. So that is waste of using the line, right? I am creating a variable. I am not printing. I am not using anywhere. Simply I am writing. That is the useless code or useful code. Useless code. That such useless code will detect by this lint configuration. Okay. So such configuration you can provide it inside the lint. Okay. That is fine. And browsers versions, browsers list. Okay. What is the browsers we are going to support? That information will provide inside the browsers list. Okay. So inside the production, what are the now uh, operations we are going to like what are the browsers we are going to support inside the development what is the versions we are going to support that is nothing but here okay most of the time we will not touch anything we are going to work with only with this uh, dependencies and scripts okay dependencies means what uh, whatever the libraries are required for our project that is nothing but a uh, dependencies if you are adding your dependency here automatically it will be downloaded into the node modules okay so that will handle by the node package manager npm okay so our next thing is a read uh, readme.md so this readme.md means so whenever you join to any new project first what they will do they will create this readme.md that means suppose tomorrow a new developer is coming you don't know how to start the application how to start the application and there might be some steps are there right all those steps they will write it here man Okay, that steps is file is nothing but a readme.md. So if you join to any new project, first go and verify whether you have any readme.md. Inside here, they will start, okay. In the project, you run the command. Why you have to run the command to run the application, okay. If you want to test it, you can run the command, npm test. If you want to build the application, so here you have all the steps here, okay. So all the steps will be available inside the readme.md. That is a useful file, okay. So now we have gone through the what are the files we have gone through? We have gone through all the files which is available. Okay. So this is nothing but a file structure. So now I want to start my application. Okay. So let us go with the uh, starting the, we have go, gone through it right. Uh, let me start with the application flow. 